Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about issue number 47 of Wolverine, written by Victor Lavelle and Benjamin Percy. But before we dive into the story, I want to ask you a favor. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and a comment to help the channel grow. Now on a side note, I made a huge mistake in calling X-Men 97, X-Men 79, but for some reason, I keep calling it that, so I wanted to apologize for that real fast, because that show is really good and it deserves its respect. But following the last issue, this one starts with X-23 examining the Sabretooth's collar. Now unbeknownst to the creeds, this collar holds the key to X-23's salvation. Because on the next page, we see Laura escaping her cell. So with Laura's freedom in her hand, she attempts to escape through the crawl spaces above. But just as she ascends, the headless drones sent by the creeds follow her. So with wave upon wave of attackers heading towards X-23, she quickly thought on her feet and tried to clog the tunnel by killing the drones one at a time. So with the vents stuffed, we jump over to Forge's secret lab with Sabretooth slashing Wolverine across his chest. So with Logan bleeding heavily from his chest, Sabretooth thought to himself how many times he had left to enjoy this dance. Because in the last issue, Sabretooth hit him with Forge's depowering gun. So with his healing factor erased, Sabretooth may have to accept that this would be their last battle. Now with this being the end, Creed was happy that Logan wasn't about to roll over for him. Because with a great deal of determination, Wolverine manages to drive his claws deep into Sabretooth's back. So with Wolverine trying his best, we jump over to the Exiles. And when we get there, we see Melter laying in two pieces thanks to Sabretooth's manipulation. So with both Melter and Toad dead, Natika was done trying to go about it through just a battle. Because she was dead set on using Cypher's gift. In fact, she was willing to kill not only Creed, but Wolverine too, for his involvement in this situation. So as all the members of the Exiles try to convince Natika of Wolverine's innocence, we transition over to the greenhouse with Phoebe being awoken by Quentin's head in astral form. And one of the first things he tells his love is this is basically all that is left of him. Now this is a sad moment, because Phoebe wants nothing more than to save her love. She even went as far as to tell Quentin's projection that Wolverine went after him a little while ago to save him. But that is when Quentin breaks the news to her by saying he knows about Wolverine's attempt, but it's not going too well for him, for Creed has him dead to rights. So moving forward, they should not come for him because by the time they arrive, they would have already finished and changed locations. And as for Wolverine, Sabretooth is about to make Quentin's remains kill Logan with one brain shot. But that is when Phoebe tells him to keep his mind open so they can locate him and come to his rescue. Now with Quentin saying it's too late, on the next page, we see Sabretooth manifest Quentin's weapon and open fire on Wolverine. So as the pink light overcomes Logan, Wolverine lets out a shout right before he collapses on the floor. So with Logan out cold, Sabretooth crouches down and tells him that he can smell him, because of that, he knows he isn't dead. Now, if Creed was being honest with himself, he wanted Wolverine to go out kicking and screaming. But unfortunately, this will have to do. So right before he was able to deal the final blow, Natika comes out of the shadows and lands a crazy left hook. So with Creed taken for a loop, Natika informs him of her dead friends. So with Sabretooth distracted, out of nowhere, Quentin drove a pair of psychic claws right through his back. Now this attack was perfect, because it gave Natika enough time to use her trump card. And within moments, a gigantic Krakoan Venus flytrap type creature emerged from the ground and completely consumed Creed. So with the battle over, for now, Natika asks Quentin's head if it wants to join the exiles. In which it replies by saying no, it has to stay behind and wait for its team to arrive. So with that coming to an end, for now, we jump over to Savage and Cameo talking to the one and only Graydon Creed. And during their interaction, we learned that Graydon had to repurpose his suit in order to survive. And because of all that, he was forced to become someone new, he had to become the bad seed. So with introductions made, Cameo asks if they are able to trust him. In which Graydon answered truthfully by saying, the first chance he gets, he will cut each of them down. So with the question answered, Graydon quickly reestablished his link with the Sabretooth drones. So following everything reverting back to Graydon, we jump over to Laura following the signal transmitting to the collars, because her hope is to find the source of said signal to use it to radio the rest of her team. But in order to do that, she had to deal with one obstacle before her, and that was Savage. So in a surprise attack, Laura exited the vents above and cut the Creed directly in half, 
getting her sweet revenge. Now with Savage completely butchered, Laura wasted no time in radioing for help. So with the message out, Graydon entered the room and revealed to her how he wanted her to reach out to her team, for it was a part of his plan all along. So following all that, we jumped over to the exile ship, where we see Wolverine waking up in bed, all patched up and bandaged, for the exiles were taking care of him. Now strangely enough, we quickly learned that Sabretooth's attack didn't work as intended, because Quentin's attack was made to make Wolverine brain dead. But here we learned that Logan seems to be completely cognitive of what is going on around him. And just like before, his goal is still to hunt down all the other Sabretooths and get revenge for his family and friends. So with Creed's quote-unquote death, this issue comes to an end. Now, this issue wasn't bad, but instead, it did kind of throw me for a little loop. Because in this comic, a lot of plot threads were completed rather quickly, like for example, Cypher's deadly seed was already deployed against Sabretooth. And if I was being honest, I didn't exactly know what the death seed was, but I didn't expect it to be a Krakoan Venus flytrap plant. Now I'm not saying it was a bad choice, I'm just saying it could have been something more final. And speaking of that, they also quote unquote killed Creed, which is a big deal, because this is the Sabretooth's war. Now personally, I don't think he is dead considering there are three more issues remaining. So it is funny to me that Cypher's seed wouldn't be effective, especially because of all of the build up around it. Now with that out there, if you want to stay in the loop about any individual storyline, then how about you hop over to the playlist section down below or in the link cards above to get all caught up on the X-Men runs. So with that established, I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next review.